Hi, welcome to today's uh, class. We are going to look at some uh, questions. It will make up uh, a revision of all the uh, topics that we have um, uh, studied over the last many weeks. Okay, so I've entitled, or rather I've titled this uh, problem set, Revision Problem Set FAML. So uh, just to let you know, all these uh, questions were taken from the uh, SOA website, uh, sample problems, but they refer specifically to the October 2022 sitting, okay? So I repeat all these questions that appear in this handout they appeared on the exam uh, for the October 2022 sitting, right? FAML. So we'll go through them. And as we go through them, we'll remind ourselves of the ideas that we have learned quite well over the last several weeks. Good. Let's start. Question number one. Okay. Question number one here, which is 2.9 on the sample problem set. Let's read the question. You are given that mortality follows Makeham's law with the following parameters. And uh, they gave you A, B, and C. Let L15, right? Okay, let L15 be, I'm keeping an eye on the question here, which is on my table as well. Yeah, okay. So let L15 be the random variable. So take note of these things, yeah? It's a random variable. Uh, representing, let's see, the number of lives, okay, it's a random variable representing the number of lives alive at the end of 15 years if there are 10,000 lives age 50 at time zero. Okay, interesting problem. Uh, we are starting with, uh, you can look at my timeline. Okay, let me, now that you see the question okay we are given makeham's law with the parameters and so on uh, what do you want to take away from this yet look we are starting with 10000 lives so i have this timeline here 10000 lives and we are we have defined a random variable right uh, representing the number of lives alive at the end of 15 years if there are 10000 lives age 50 at time 0 so basically, uh, what can happen is uh, we are looking at uh, this number of lives we start with. And first, we need to work out the probability of living up to here, right? So that will be 15 P50. Okay, so you either live, <coughs> excuse me, you either live or you die. So, okay, I'm talking about this 15 years here, right? You either live this 15 years. I said 15 P50, this means you live for at least 15 years, right? For somebody age 50. And uh, of course, yeah. And uh, the the complement of this will be one minus that, yeah? The, of the probability of dying in this stretch of time. Okay. So the survival probability, 15 P50, you can easily work out uh, using uh, uh, Makeham's law. Uh, Makeham's law, uh, let me reach out for my, if you look at the um, uh, formula pages that they are, that uh, is provided to you, okay, you will, you will find it uh, almost at the end of the, I think, uh, the second last page or something, you'll find the formula there, use it. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is you don't really have, I mean, you don't have to memorize it, but I've given it to you here. So, okay, I've given it to you here. Let's see. There you go. So I'm trying to work out 15 P50. Uh, that's just easy to do, right? Because once you're 15 P50, uh, uh, you can plug in uh, the numbers. They gave me A, they gave me T is of course 15. And then they gave me the value of B and they gave me the value of C. You work that out, you will get 0.837449. Good. So basically you either live or die, right? In this stretch of time, in this stretch of time or this interval of time, you either live or you die. So if you live, you will die somewhere here. Okay, we don't know when. Or you will die here. So there are two outcome situation, right? 
we have a two outcome situation. So two outcome situation, we have a binoli, yeah. Okay, we have a binoli situation, but we have got 10,000 lives, so it becomes a binomial random variable, right? We are dealing with a binomial random variable. So when you have a two outcome situation, we are dealing with a Bernoulli situation, remember, success or failure. But because we have got 10,000 lives, it's not one life, so we're dealing with the binomial distribution, right? The binomial distribution, we know uh, the variance is NPQ, right? That's what we'll be using here. P we have, okay, let's move it up, right? And we know it's uh, 10,000, okay? And we know it's 10,000. A P we know, Okay. Uh, P, we know the value, which is 15 P50. I worked it out here for you. And then um, Q, just take the complement of this, one minus this, you will get a number. Okay, let me just clear this here. Okay, you'll get this number here. And then we will use the formula, the variance. Remember, we studied this last time in a statistics class, right? Variance of a, uh, let me just write it here, right? If X is a binomial random variable with parameters N and P, the variance is what? NPQ. So that's what you will see here, okay? Use a calculator. Remember, we're looking for the variance. So uh, not difficult to do. Just take uh, your, uh, is it 10,000? Yeah, 10,000 times, uh, yeah, I've written it here. 10,000 times P, which is 15P50, times Q, which is 15Q50. Use a calculator and you'll get your answer. E. Good. Let's move on, right? Next question, which is uh, 2.10 on your sample problem set. Let's look at it. Okay, what does it say? You are given mu x plus t is beta t squared, t bigger than or equal to zero. Then they give me Lx, which is 1000. And they gave me uh, Lx plus 10 is 400. So with these two values, I can write, okay, what is that? What jumps out at me is 10 px, right? 10 px will be lx plus 10 over lx, right? Okay, good. And um, before we go any further, right? They gave me this, they gave me this, and they gave me this. Now they asked me to find 1000 beta. So we know this formula, right? tpx, okay, e to the power of minus zero to t, mu x plus s ds. So if I want to write it as 10px, then that will be equals to e to the power, e to the power of minus zero 10, okay, zero to 10, mu x plus s ds. Okay, that's it. So uh, we have, I've written it here for you. We know that uh, this is LX plus 10 over LX, okay? Which is 400, right? 400 divided by 1,000. And then we have E to the power of negative 0 to 10. Uh, what is mu X plus T? Uh, beta T squared DT. Do some mild integration, right? These are all extremely simple to do, okay? Do some mild integration, plug in the value of 10 and 0. And I've done all of those things here for you. Uh, clean it up. Remember, you're trying to find 1,000 beta and you'll get 2.74887. Okay, good. Answer is A. Let's move on. We have question number 2.11, right? Let's see. Give me a second. I want to move it down slowly so I can grab the question, right? So that we can read it together. Okay. Here we have, let's look at the question first, yeah? 2.11. I am looking at my question sheet here. You are given some probabilities, right? Some uh, mortality rates, Q80, Q81, and Q82. Good. And they tell you that between 80 and 81, deaths are uniformly distributed. 
Okay, between 80 and 81, that's are uniformly distributed. So between 80 and 81, yeah? And then uh, between 81 and 82, that's are subject to a constant force model, 81 and 82, yeah? Constant force. Okay. And what are we asked to find? Calculate the probability, right? You will see it at the bottom of the screen. Calculate the probability that a person age 80.6 will die between 81.1 and 81.6. So person age, let's indicate that here, okay? 80.6 will die between 81.1 and 81.6. Die here. So what's the idea, right? The idea is, okay, how do you, these are deferred probabilities we have seen before. A person who is age 80.6 will die here. So you will find the probability of living from here to here minus the probability of living from here to here. That's it. Okay, the idea first, right? Uh, you can also look at the um, the uh, solutions that they have provided. Okay, you can look at it and see how they have done it. So I'm just telling you the idea that we have learned in our class, right? So the probability of living from here to here minus the probability of living from here to here. So work this out separately, right? I've done it here for you. So 0.4 p 80.6. That's this part here. And then I have got 0.1 P81. That's this part here. So I'm trying to work this one out, right? So you know why? Because they have got two models which are uh, in effect, right? In these two rate, uh, age intervals. So I work this probability first. Point, uh, 0.4 P80.6 times 0.1 P81. That's this one done. Then I need to work this out which will be, let me do it slowly, 0.4 P80.6 is this part. And then I have 0.6 P81. Okay? That's what you see here. So I've done all the uh, writing for you. You can easily pick up and run with it. Okay? So I've uh, cleaned this up a little bit. I've taken out the 0.4 uh, P80.6. And then... Uh, inside the brackets, I have this thing here is quite easy, yeah, because they gave me a Q81. They gave me Q81 is 0 0.06, so I know P81 is 0.94, right? And then we know that for constant force, uh, Tpx is e to the power of minus mu t. So I'm using these ideas. Px will be e to the power of minus mu, right? So I'm using those ideas. Uh, uh, this point one that you see here is what you have here, right? Remember, we're only interested in the interval. And this is your uh, 1 minus Q81, which is 0.94. And the same idea applies here for 0.6 P81, right? So 0.6 P81, uh, well, same idea. And what's left for me to do is just this. This part here, I can do it quite uh, easily because I know this is the same as 1 minus... 0.4 Q80.6. And this one here will just be 0.4. Remember this formula? We have done it in our class. Over 1 minus this 0.6. So it's 0 0.6 Q80. Okay. So let me move the screen up so you can see my working. Okay. I think I can clear this now. You've got all the ideas correct. Okay, good. So um, once you get the probability uh, statement, right? This is your probability. This is your probability statement. This one that you see here. Yeah, just work it out slowly. Use all the ideas that we have learned before. Uh, plug the numbers in into your calculator, and you'll get 0 0.029797. Okay, answer C.